and been able to come back? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think there's a lot of countries that are pretty resilient, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I mean, in that, like think about 9-11 and just yeah. how devastating. Well, I think it, like, it's weird because I can't remember who said the quote, but basically it's, um, you know, uh, basically hard men achieve peace and then soft men lose the peace or something like that. Basically, like, uh, I think that because we have been in such a time of prosperity mm. that the country has shifted and a lot of people have oh, okay. lost okay. gratefulness mm -hmm. for the country. Yeah. You know, and again, we've been over this plenty before. We talked about a bunch in previous episodes. Not to say our country is perfect. No country is perfect. Mm -hmm. Every country has yeah. its issues. I mean, you name it, you yeah. know. Um, but, you know, to say that, you know, we're a horrible country, it's like, okay, then why is everybody trying to come here and not mm -hmm. flee here? Yeah, yep. You yep. know, there's something has to be going on here mm -hmm. that people are trying to get a part of, you know. Yeah. Um, I think to that, um, how, like, people want to be the change that you want to see, right? Sure. Well, like, how how do you get there? Like, I, I want to see a nation that's full of gratefulness, that makes, mm. that can make a change, can can shift the prejudices or the um, uh, the struggles or the um, setbacks by being grateful. Yeah. Like what's, what truly, what, it, does gratefulness have the power to, to shift culture? Yeah. I would say it does. I mean, just think about it. We had a lot of the, I feel like a lot of the strife was because people were not grateful, mm -hmm. you know, because again, you can point something out and you can address issues and still be grateful for something, mm -hmm. right? I mean, just think about it in a marriage. Um, you know, I am, you know, extremely grateful for you and I know you're extremely grateful for me, but that doesn't mean that we don't, not always maybe in the nicest way, but, mm -hmm. you know, point stuff yeah. out mm -hmm. and, you know, you want to grow. Yeah. So, I mean, the country is no different. You know, our, our country mm -hmm. is a, country of change over yeah. and over yeah. and over again you mm -hmm. know sometimes for bad sometimes for better um but i think that if you are i think if you tend to come from a place of not gratefulness you want to rip something down yeah and rebuild it because you don't see any good in it and i mean i think about that just in a marriage if you are not grateful for what you have you mm -hmm. tend to want to rip it down you mm -hmm. get divorced yeah. You know, when you move on or, I mean, you know, I, whatever, or you, the job, yeah. you quit, you know, whatever the situation may be. Yeah. I would say I don't think like the grateful, you know, being ungrateful, you just want to get divorced. I think it's obviously, I mean, that's a different topic, but it's, it's the I constant. Think it spurs, I think yeah. it leads to that. Yeah. I think it leads to that. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that it, you're, you know, but I think it leads to that because the, the mindset, you know, when you will look at thing with a grateful heart, you know. Um, like here's the thing, like, has my job been perfect? No. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it sucked. Yeah. But, you know, I still had work when other people didn't, you know, mm -hmm. is, you know, I'm sure there are times when, you know, you think I'm freaking being stupid or vice versa, but it's like, we're still super grateful for each other. I mean, even your mm -hmm. kids, yeah. sometimes they're I annoying know. as all yep. hell. Yep. <sighs> but you're still grateful for them. I know. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think that, I think there's just, there's a way to do things <clears throat> and there's a way to not. And I think that being grateful, I mean, the Bible talks about this obviously a lot, um, you can really shift things. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think about that. I think about that specifically when it's come to our marriage. I, know, I think we've kind of touched on this before, but um, we always try to come at things from a place mm -hmm. of gratefulness. Mm -hmm. And I think it has helped shift our marriage or keep it in a healthy place. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, there are times when, you know, I think that uh, I wonder how truly grateful I am for the for the girls, mm, mm -hmm. you know, just because it, you get into the funk of being parents and, you know, um, you just get pissed off. And at the same time, you know, like even Siobhan did something so sweet today. So oh, yeah. Annie's one, right? And she's always walking around putting crap in her mouth. Siobhan, I literally like. She had plas right? plastic, right? She had something that she uh -huh. wasn't supposed to eat on the ground. Siobhan literally walked over and grabbed it out of Annalise's mouth and went to throw it away. And I almost said something to, to Siobhan because I didn't know what she was doing. Oh, mm -hmm. I was like, it was just alone or whatever. And I was just like, I don't know what she was doing. I was like, holy crap. Mm -hmm. 